Our new long-haul 2018 Ford Mustang GT has been in our grasp for only a couple of days, however we've just attached a couple of thousand miles onto the odometer. Not at all like a large portion of our test vehicles, Ford enabled us to alternative the auto ourselves. We at that point let you, our unwavering gathering of people, pick a large portion of the highlights for us. You can read about it in our early on post. At $51,470, our auto isn't modest, yet it comes with one serious part of hardware at the cost. Relate editor Reese counts, I truly wish this auto had a 6-speed manual. Each time I get in the driver's seat, everything I can consider is how much better the Mustang is with a 3-pedal setup. Try not to misunderstand me, the 10-speed is better than average. It's additionally speedier to 60, as well, on account of close double grasp fast upshifts. There's only a separated inclination you don't discover in manual prepared autos. It's a disgrace, since I adore almost everything else about it. The motor is a sweetheart. It's a 460 pool tribute to bald eagles and free discourse, regardless of whether it drinks fuel at an entertainingly fast rate. Of course, the EcoBoost is much more fuel proficient, however it's not so satisfying to ring out to redline. This auto was made for a V8. In view of worldwide deals figures, whatever is left of the world concurs with me. The V8 controlled GT is the most well-known variation around the world. I couldn't be more joyful. I'm a major enthusiast of the styling, as well. I wasn't excessively hot on the 2018 Revive, however it's developed on me a considerable amount. It's sharp and has some chronicled prompts without looking retro. It's likewise much better looking than the Camaro, particularly the revived 2019 model. What was Chevy considering? Relayed producer Ra Mercer, a youth dream worked out. Being in the driver's seat of an orange V8-controlled Mustang GT took me back to when I was 10 and getting acquainted with a 67 Mustang. The seats were to a great degree agreeable, and the auto influenced me to feel as though I were inside an improved minimized hybrid which made feel safe. The dealing with was responsive, however I felt numerous knocks through the attractive suspension while cruising Woodward Avenue. What extremely prevailed upon me was the 0 to 70 on-ramp quickening going to take a shot at I-75. This power under my control clarifies why individuals adore muscle autos, particularly the Mustang. Relate editor Joel Stocksdale, I've been investing a considerable measure of energy in Mustangs the past couple weeks between our splendid orange programmed prepared model, and our white manual illustration. Furthermore, most importantly, I'm with Reese, I wish the orange one had a manual transmission. My thinking is somewhat extraordinary, however. While the 10-speed is super smooth and really savvy about rigging determinations around town, it appears like it trips up a bit when sportier driving is requested. Downshifts here and there take two or three tries, or it needs to think somewhat longer than I'd want to execute the move. I additionally wish the manual moving felt somewhat more fresh. I'm sure it's still quicker than the manual transmission, however it's not as fun. Something I truly acknowledge about our orange Mustang is the Magnride suspension. The ordinary suspension in our white one I observed to be somewhat rough and occupied over knocks. Yet, our orange Mustang, in typical mode, coasts over somewhat blemished streets and stifles the more terrible ones. That being stated, the orange auto hasn't felt very as steady on uneven corners as the white one. I have to play with the mode some more. Be that as it may, even with that little trade-off, the attractive suspension is an unquestionable requirement have in case you are going to day-by-day -day drive your Mustang. Talking about corners, I have blended emotions. The Mustang has an informative suspension and guiding that keep you all around advised of the circumstance. That is incredible, and it makes it simple to push the Mustang. Be that as it may, what irritates me, and makes the auto not have any desire to be pushed, is the overwhelming inclination nose. It requires more exertion than you'd hope to motivate it to hand over, and keeping in mind that it will, it doesn't do as such enthusiastically. It surely feels more like a muscle auto than a games auto. Be that as it may, at that point, there are most likely many individuals that appreciate that. Closure on a positive note, I adore the way this looks. I was somewhat incredulous at to begin with, since I adored the past rendition, and at first felt the crisper lines on the belt didn't fill in also, however I've since totally come around. Furthermore, Orange Fury with dark wheels is a splendid shading blend.